It wasn't never a problem with me being a fat black woman because real black men, they like them in all yeah, shapes and yeah, sizes, yeah. all complexions. Mm -hmm. It is these new Negroes that get into she got to be this way, she got to be that way. But real black men, if you can bake a pound cake naked. <laughs> man, get your ass the f*** out of here, bro. <laughs>we dive into anything man make sure you pull up the shop stevenight.com man anytime you see me rocking some drip that you rocking with pull up over there find something you like cop it check out i want to get uh, look I, I know it's traumatic and if you don't want to have to relive it you don't have to what you went through with your brother yes when you going through that mm -hmm. how is that impacting you during that time, because I think you're seven to 13. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better do your damn homework, Shannon Shaw. And the impact that it's had on you and your relationship with men. Oh. Shannon trying to be a journalist. No, 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 no. Uh, Shannon, I'm about to look at you. <laughs> my damn it, you see you trying to come up, Bubba Wallace, get off my brother. What impact? <laughs> Wow. Remember when you said, and I don't know if you said this, so I don't want to quote it because I could be wrong. Okay. But someone said, Shannon Sharp don't mess with black women. Mm -hmm. And before you go any further, can I say this? Please. My grandmother told me something when I was a little boy. She said, boy, never chase a lie. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Uh, why? And you never said that, right? I've never said okay, that. Okay, so that's why I said... I got black kids! What's the point, That's though? what I said. I said, them babies black, black. Yes! They not confusing. Yes! We ain't trying to see if she Latin or Dominican. They black, black. They <laughs> mama got black, black. Everybody yeah. that shared yeah. the mess with yeah. was black, black. But what yeah. they right? got to do yeah. with black, the conversation. Black. Okay? So, they, uh, there's this... thing with us. That you can't tell us nothing. And oftentimes when a black woman's been traumatized, she's guarded. Now you take a black woman that's been traumatized and now she got a little bit of money. And you take black men, some of them, that is impressed with the money. So I can say to you what I want to. Not being totally disrespectful, but you know who's running this. Yeah. You know how we do this. Mm -hmm. I've always had an aggressive personality. Yes. I have always jumped with, if I think you're trying to violate. So to say what did that do to me, it, it made me like this. And it made me say, I'll get you before you can get me. Because mm -hmm. I know what it's like to not be in control of what you're taking from me. Right. I know what it's like to be in a position where there's nothing I can do, right? So when it came to men, baby, listen, I had my, my share, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I was no whore, mm -hmm. but I was close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, come on now, Santa, get back to me. Now get back to me, call no. me later. Call me later, Shannon. <laughs> Me later, baby. Come Lord on. Have because Lord. you a football player with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. When you go into a city and you was in your prime, yeah. you had your pick. It's no different for a woman. When I went into a city, everybody wanted to be Professor Ogilvy. <laughs> <laughs> bruh, she said a lot, bruh. I'm trying to let her talk. It's from bing, 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 bing. First off, like, what did her traumatic experience have to do with her being black? Most people that go through something young, like she did, I think. Let me let me let me Google this to make sure. I don't want to I don't want to tell a lie. Uh, yeah. So her brother molested her as a child. I'm not trying to minimize that. It's up. But that's the whole point. It's up for everybody that's going through that. And I'd imagine most women that have experienced that. 
I ain't gonna say most. I don't know. I don't know. I don't wanna. I ain't trying to ruffle these type of feathers, man. But what I'm saying is that race ain't got nothing to do with that. The chances of any woman, regardless of what race she is, going through that as a child, them defense mechanisms is up there. You know what I'm saying? But her being black ain't got nothing to do with it, bro. So I just don't like the the victimhood label on top of what she's doing, trying to magnify a terrible issue, man. But then that ain't got nothing to do with her, you know, bossing up and then fucking with beta males. Monique, she got to be well into her fifties, bro. She don't even know the game. Shannon Sharp going from city to city, bouncing around, literally picking his pick of the litter compared to what you was doing are two entirely different things. The men that wanted or the men that did tie themselves to you when you was in your prime, them ain't the pick of the litters, bro. Them some beta ass bitches, literally. Any man out here trying to attach themselves to a woman because of the clout they got or the resources they have, they're literally looking for a woman to provide from them. That ain't the game. <laughs> that ain't the game. Matter of fact, I'm willing to bet that from the men she was hoeing around with, she would not have taken any of those men seriously because she was the man she was the provider that usually don't work that sound like the modern woman right today i'm leading with my money that's why men want me no the, the wrong ones want you brother it's entirely different from a man moving around because men get pride off of what they can provide for a woman women want the man to provide from them so you just got played <laughs> you got a whole bunch of bodies and, and beta ass leeching off you it ain't a problem you gotta remember, I remember you said it wasn't. Well, let me say this. First. It wasn't never a problem with me being a fat black woman, because real black men, they like them in all yeah, shapes and yeah, sizes, yeah. all complexions. Mm -hmm. It is these new Negroes that get into she gotta be this way, she gotta be that way. But real black men, if you can bake a pound cake naked, <laughs> man, get your ass the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> you ain't a real man unless you like fucking a big black woman, dog. No. Excuse me? <laughs> it's these new dudes they got preferences. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of uh, 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 little whole ass things that come with the new dudes, but that's not one of them, bro. Men are allowed to have they got them preference of the type of woman that they trying to smash. And there's a bunch of dudes that love BBWs, but there's a whole lot more that don't. And ain't nothing wrong with them fools for liking what they like. Come on, Monique, do better. What y'all talking about? What you talking about? But <coughs> what, what, what it did though was, and this is why I feel the way I feel about my husband. Okay. I remember him saying to me one night, because when we first got together, I was, I was a handful, Shannon. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was really sick mm -hmm. in the way that I thought. Right. And he said, check this out. You've used your brother molesting you as a crutch for your bad behavior. Oh, he man. said, and I won't allow that. Mm. He said, when you was a little girl, there was nothing you can do about it. But now as a grown woman, every choice and decision you make, it is yours. And I will not allow you to keep on saying because of my brother, because at what point do you take accountability for what you? Baby, that grew me up in that night. That grew my ass up that night so fast because I wanted, I wanted to hear what my, psychi my psychiatrist was saying to me. I understand. My husband was like, check this out. Mm -mm. Check this out. You are in control of you. Every choice and decision you make, every one you lay down with, that was your choice. You've never come back to me and said you were raped. As a grown woman, you've never said that. So stop holding on to that crutch. Stop holding on to that victim. Cause this happened to me, I, I, I'm, I'm mad for days and I come up out of that. And when I went to the psychiatrist, right? Everything my husband said to me, the psychiatrist said to me, but he said, I needed you to go to somebody that had no dog in the fight because I didn't want you to think I was judging you. I didn't want you to think that because I know the history, I'm pointing my finger. So when I would go to that psychiatrist, Dr. Cassandra Wanzo, she's incredible. Y'all want to know about red bottom shoes? Let me tell you somebody that's going to get your mind right. Dr. Cassandra Wanzo, this woman was incredible. But every time I would go to session, everything she said, my husband had already told me. So me and men, I had to come to grips with that. Mm -hmm. I had to come to grips with being an insecure fat girl. And I had to come to grips with my sister telling me, ain't no man gonna ever really want you cause you fat. I had to come to grips with, my father was like, listen, I'm here, but I'm really not. I had to come to grips with those things. So my way of coming to grips with those things was now I'm a boss. I'm independent and I'm empowered. Don't you know I run this? See, I too went to the Oprah Winfrey University of Empowerment. 
and you don't need a man to make it. Right. I signed up. Right. And I was at the top of the class till I realized I was going to bed empty. Mm. I was going to bed with nothing but stuff. I did not want to be the poor little rich girl who have everything but nothing at all. Don't that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. I did not want to be that, Shannon. So even for the men, even for the men that I was with, right? You were with them. I wasn't? No. Okay, talk to me, Shannon. Let that liquor use you. That was I just wasn't a, with them. That was just a body for the lonely. <laughs> liquor makes shit sound good, won't it? Liquor will make you not sound like a whore. It was just a body for hey, the lonely. At least she Let got it, bro. <laughs> at, least, at, least, at least she fucking kept with a hundred dollars. Shannon, get your old punk ass out here with that boy. It was only a body for the lonely. No, hell no, bro. Come on, man. You're making the fellas look sad, Shannon. Let me tell you what my husband told me, right? Because I was in tears. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I, I, I was, I was a whore. I was crying. I was, cause, I was cause a whore. when you come to grips with it, when you realize how many, Sheesh. when you realize what you've done, and you got Sheesh. to come to grips with it, and now I'm sitting in front of the greatest person I've ever met, and I gotta say, I have been with this many. Damn. And my husband looked at me and said, "Mama, you ain't no whore. You just have friendly pussy." <laughs> Didn't he make it right? That's all I had it was friendly pussy. So for you whores out there, you mm -mm. Yeah, no, no, it is. friendly pussy. Right. No, we're not doing that. We're not. No, 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 no. We're not doing that, bro. We are not doing that. That's funny though, man. Like she's literally explaining the the experiences of a lot of women today, going through the same shit. She's a lot older, dealing with the same issues women are dealing with today but for hold on hold on i did not know monique was hoeing like that though she was hoeing to the point to label herself a whore but she owned it bro she took it that's 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 dope though that's accountability but she's older too like she's already she, she seems like she's she's killed her ego to say some shit like that bro most women are not going to admit to that i wonder how many bodies she got though it can't be that many bro because she old I bet what she considers to be a hoe is not what most consider to be a hoe. <laughs> she probably got like 15, 16 bodies, bro. That's a lot for these, for the old older generation, bro. Because they, ain't, they don't get down like these hoes today. <laughs> you know what I mean? I guarantee you, on average, whatever number she got is much lower than your average 22-year-old right now. <laughs> but good on her for getting to the point where she realizing who she is and how she was moving is crazy. Um her confessions can either help women or hurt women because she's pretty much got the dream scenario bro matter of fact who is let me let me i need to figure out who the fuck her husband is dog because her husband sounds like he was made in a fucking lab somewhere who is monique's husband sydney hicks oh they had an open marriage that answers a lot why monique got out of her open marriage with husband sydney hicks the comedian says she grown more appreciative of the relationship and didn't want to sacrifice that just for a lay. Was it open on both sides or was he just letting her fuck? Monique and her husband, Sydney Hicks, have changed a lot since they first met back in high school and their relationship has grown right along with them. The comedian Kenley discussed her relationship in, ex in an expansive and new interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Colin Hicks, who is also her manager, the best manager I've ever had, and I've had the big, and I've had the big boys. And after all these years, they are still practically inseparable the couple first met in 10th grade in baltimore and monique said our energies and spirits just connected they went on to wed in 2006 and shared twin 17 year old sons the oscar da, 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 da. monique has previously been outspoken about their open marriage even launching a podcast about it in 2016 called monique and sydney's open open relationship however the actor revealed that over the past several years she grew out of the relationship dynamic and wanted to close their marriage back up again life began to happen i began to see strength and i had never i just hope it was open on both ends and not just her in, because if it, if it is just her in, then, you know, you know what type of man you're dealing with. You're just letting his wife go out there and get up. That's just a whole different breed. And that's not reality, women. You're not going to find that. That's some beta shit. So hopefully he was fucking too. And then it sound like they just grew older, got more mature, and he literally molded her from a whore into a wife. Right, but the fact that they had an open relationship, he don't, he doesn't care about the body she had because he's continuing to allow her to, to rack on bodies. So, women, that is not reality, and that also shows 
women out here who are all this mind state. You know what? I'm, I'm a boss bitch. I got a hundred bodies. I manifest a man. I'm gonna get what I want when I'm like 30, 40. Like if Monique can find a man after Monique ass was a whore and she a boss bitch. And I look the way I look and I'm bossing up and I got bodies. Of course I can find a man. Well, you see the type of man that she has. And she's known this motherfucker since high school. This, is, this goes to show y'all how difficult it will be to find a man to be okay with y'all's boss bitching wholeness out there. Damn, though, but Monique was hoeing? Did y'all know that? Did y'all know Monique was hoeing? Monique was hoeing so bad that she called herself a hoe.